So after we consulted with a few different groups with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community uh, in the Sydney North region, um, what they told us was that they wanted a regular culturally safe group where they can come to meet um, and enjoy um, meeting new community members and uh, where they could experience cultural connectedness. Roughly a couple of years ago, uh, two years ago, uh, we had a group of men that were meeting up um, wanting to support each other and guess our own cultural affirmation. Speaking with the Aboriginal men, um, we'd like to see how we can connect our, our wives, our um, elders, our children in that same capacity. The real push came when I was uh, sitting down with Annie Lois not too long ago, roughly nine months, where she said we're going to find opportunities where we can bring our community together. Over in the northern beaches, Clarence started up some groups over there through his educational role and a community member. Uh, he knew some youth and started up a program with one of our partners, uh, PCYC. Uh, also started up a men's group through some community members that um, he was connected with and um, that soon formed into a family group which we now know as Connected Mobs. We um, as Connected Mobs, um, by connecting together, um, our Aboriginal people can a connect in regards to culture, but also connect in the personal interactions that you have with one another. So Sydney North Health Network um, helps provide the resources for the programs in the sense of um, networking, we help bring people together. Uh, marketing helps spread the word, partnership development and uh, providing cultural content to the programs. We in our traditional lives at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people um, would have our moieties, totems, skin names, which would give us rights and responsibilities in regards to our lives as Aboriginal people, from caring for a tree, a bird, um, the waterways, our land. How does that fit into a contemporary life where we uh, have a Western world to work with? Is that we need to create new ways in which that sharing and continued caring for country, caring for ourselves, caring for our community can organically happen by having the opportunity to connect, as in the Connected Mobs, um, where we meet up on a regular basis. It's an opportunity where people, our elders, can pass knowledge to our young ones. Our young ones can grow and thrive and learn about caring for country, caring for themselves and caring for community can organically happen for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. So what I found with the program uh, was a general improvement with mental health and well-being and that was as a result from cultural activities such as basket weaving, uh, mindful activities, we, there were uh, cultural dancing, expression through words such as poetry slam, men went off of country and experienced um, making traditional tools and uh, and musical instruments such as didgeridoo, uh, all those types of activities really benefited uh, their mental health and well-being. Through culture, through being with each other, through connections, we're able to build our sense of self-worth, our own social emotional well-being, which can impact then on our physical well-being. At one of our meetups, we had the community out throwing boomerangs. That's a practical activity in itself, you know, and in terms of chasing after the boomerang, walking around, but then going on to play touch football, which is then in terms of doing some physical exertion on the body. Um, there's a number of different opportunities that exist where, we where we're working on our physical well-being as well as the food that we're eating and we're looking in terms of our traditional diets and how we can better our diets today. The most common themed comments uh, that we've received in program surveys from all the programs uh, have indicated the enjoyment of spending time and interacting with other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community members and being involved with cultural activities, gaining some sort of cultural connectedness. The success of these programs have been due to the collaborative effort uh, of our partnerships involved with the programs. Uh, partnerships with uh, organisations such as uh, PCYC, um, AECG, the Aboriginal Education Consultative Groups, the local councils and local businesses. Uh, without the uh, efforts and uh, contribution, um, they, they wouldn't be running 
uh, and they are keen to ensure the future sustainability of the programs. We've got new families coming to the area um, who want to connect with local Aboriginal people, want to connect with each other and we've got our young ones who are coming through who don't really get the opportunity around here to learn so intimately about culture um, and so if the conversation was about how can we create an opportunity to bring our different Aboriginal people together to share culture uh, and ideally connect with each other which at the end of the day supports us as a community being stronger and healthier together. The easiest way to get involved with Connected Mobs is by jumping on Facebook.